Tippy time, my damies, Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going through the Lightblade GM. I'll show you a few tips and tricks and weapon loadouts that helped us do this. I was running the Aeons on my Night Stalker, running Hung Jury, Hollow Words Fusion, and Gallowhorn. Both of the Invisors, Echo Persistence, Dilation, and obscurity. Reaping Wellmaker, Font of Wisdom, Powerful Friends, Radiant Light, and Well of Tenacity. Our Warlock ran Shade Binder with Eye of Another World, and we had a T Crash with Curus of the Falling Star. And they both ran the Arbalist for the Anti Barriers, Insidious for the two Unstops and Hothead for the Abundance of Arc Shields. Once you start, immediately dump three rockets into the boss that will piss him off and despawn him. This will allow you to clear the right hand side quickly and then we just embers and run through. Dump a Gallahorn into the wizard. Once he is cleared There'll be a second wizard down below, just do the same to him, and then get busy on the Lucent Hive. A couple of rockets and he should be good for a finish. You want to try and finish as much as you can in this. We had all three of our fire team running the Lucent Hive mod for the endless amounts of heavy bricks we're going to need for our rocket launcher. The teammate shouldn't be shy spending rockets. Every time you get a champion, you're going to get four rockets back. And every time you get a losing hive, you're going to get one as well. Just be ready with that arbalist. Bank one rocket in the space, then ready for the arbalist to crack it. One more rocket. Um, preferably not the Gallahorn, as that will kill it. Um, and then they should be ready for the finish. I like the fusion rifle for all the ads that come out. When the two arc shielded knights come out, just bank down the tether, clear that ad spawn as soon as you can, then you just finish everything else and progress on through. We clear the barriers left to right, Gallahorn, Arbalist, Hothead, finish. Do the same on the right hand side and then we bank down a rocket on each of the platforms down below. This will clear out the ads. Progress on through, Shrieker, and then just jump across. Feel free to use supers on these guys. You won't need them for some time, so it's just easy enough to super them, get the finish, dunk the bombs, and then we can progress on through back onto the boat. Gallop on the Wizards, the Wolf Pack Rounds will pick up the Acolytes. The Arbalist can take down the Shriekers and just use your Pulse and Scout Rifle to clear the Acolytes down below. You can shoot the Wizards from right on the first bridge, that's how good the tracking is. Then jump through the portal at the end. Bank one tether down on the boat. This should clear out all the ads. The Thrall is just going to jump down onto the boat so you can just chill out on the ledge and let them all kill themselves. Send the Inver's Hunter ahead. Use your Gallahorn freely at this at any hordes of adds. When you're approaching a horde of moths, just make sure to Inver's once they notice you. I like to go the lamps route when I'm the Inver's Hunter. Try and make the most of it. You're going to want to have high strength and high mobility for the dodge. Uh, particularly if you're running the Aeons, if you're running something like 6 code or something, this shouldn't be an issue. The other two guys are going to try and make a, a run for it, either on the right or the left hand side. But once you make it to the end, you should be fine. And the ads will despawn once you hit the final gate. Pick up your buds and progress on through. You're going to want to finish this unstop here, as there's going to be a bunch of yellow bars up ahead. This is one of the three unstops in the game. But be careful of the Void Snipers on the ledge up ahead whilst trying to take him down. 
and he does have a bit of a nasty arc zap to him as well and with the 50% arc burn he's gonna one shot you no matter what chest mod you have on you from this ledge is going to be a bit of a hive and scorn battle going on bank down a tether and attack the two yellow bar ogres first you want to get these with your rocket launchers uh, whilst one person attacks the two shriekers on the left hand side once you've got these two ogres down then you can go down to get finishes on the unstop abomination and an unstop ogre to get to your last lot of yellow bricks just be careful as Screeves will try and jump up. They should jump back down. Unless you're too close, they will just boom up on you. Just watch out when you're down here. I'm sure you learned by now. There's plenty of stray moths flying around. Even if you don't think they are, just keep your headphones on loud. Jump down and we are going to start the final encounter. One of your fire team members is going to be responsible for chaining the boss back and forth whilst the other two are just going to be clearing out the bunch of thrall so pretty much just going to be jumping from the middle pedestal up onto the ledge your teammates are going to take care of the thrall you want these to be clear just in case shit gets sideways and you need to be running around the ground in order to survive we just chip away at him with our scout rifles there will be a second wave of ads that come out during this mid yellow bar but try not to waste too much heavy ammo we just bank some grenades down to weaken them and use our primaries use your fusion as well and arbalist if you have ammo lying around for them once you hit the third and two thirds stages just tether the middle platform you want to kill the lucent hive dude make sure you get a finish on him to get the heavy ammo bricks and you want to kill one of the two arc shielded knights as well then you're just going to go around and clear out any remaining adds whilst leaving out one arc shield knight so you can get in position for the anti barriers that will soon be spawning the first knights are going to spawn on the right hand side of the statue ledge so you want to be on the left just in case they jump over but you can bank a tether down before to kind of pre-trap them on the final third they're going to spawn at the doorways in the middle of the ring so you want to be there ready one will spawn either side finish the anti-barriers these are the hardest parts of this final boss room encounter in my opinion and this is pretty much the cycle after that it's just whittle them down rinse repeat so if you got that down on lock this should be good just watch he can slam you even though you're on the platform once you understand the anti-barrier locations you can just bank down a tether in the mid thunder crash and speed this up a little bit anyway guys that is the guide for today hope you learned something Svala seems to think so like share comment down below if you have any questions and until next time tippy time my damies what a tie